Hello everyone. Uh, today we are solving day six. Well, turn out that I am not that good at solving uh, task um, on speed. So day five was I, I took like way too long to solve it, and I used a very unoptimal algorithm. But uh, that's the nature of it, right? So I did what I did, you know, like given the time pressure and all that stuff. So yeah, I have no nobody to um, uh, nothing to complain. Yeah. So basically, day six. Uh, okay, so I just upgraded my uh, REPL uh, and REPL, and I'm using the newest version possible. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's start again. The REPL should be working. Yeah, it seems to work. Yeah, it seems to work. So let's just uh, start the timer and read the task. Right. So here, uh, clone coordinates. Using the Manhattan distance determine the area around each coordinate by counting the number of integer strategies that are closest to the coordinates that aren't tied in distance to any other coordinate. The goal is to find the size of the largest area that isn't infinite. For example, consider the following list of coordinates. If you name these coordinates A through F, we draw them on a grid, putting 0, 0 at the top left. This view is partial. The actual grid extends in, in infinitely in all directions. Using the Manhattan distance, each location of closest coordinate can be determined. Shown here in lowercase. Locations shown as dots are equally far from two or more coordinates. Okay, and so they don't count as being closest to any. In this example, the areas of coordinates A, B, C, and F are infinite. Right? While not shown here, the areas extend forever outside the visible grid. However, the areas in coordinates D and E are finite. Uh, D is close to nine locations, and E is close to 17, plus including the coordinates location itself. Therefore, in this example, the size of the largest area is 17. What is the size of the largest area that isn't infinite? Okay, get your puzzle input. Okay, let's get our puzzle input. Um, the input is like this. Okay, so let's start with the simple, simplest task of like parsing these coordinates. So basically, we have our input. Um, we have our lines, right? So lines like this. Yeah. So basically, chords is map lines by. Um, okay. So basically, a stir split with with um, uh, comma space, right? So these are chords, and we also need to uh, map them to the parser, basically. So basically, it would be like that. Uh, we get percent, we split it, and then we map V parse long. Right, so oh, fuck. No, it didn't work. So oh, very strange, very strange. Might be yeah, it was it should be like that. Yeah, so the, here are our coordinates, okay, x and y. So we did that and okay, so now now to the task, right? So basically what we can do is we can determine a rectangle. Uh, which would be like smallest x, uh, highest x, smallest y, highest y, right? So starting from there, um, we can cover the rectangle, I guess. And find the closest um, uh, go through each of the points and cover and calculate the closest one to each. And then we need somehow to exclude infinite um, infinite areas from it, right? So basically, yeah. Well, if you can, if you look at this, uh, you probably you if you extend it by one, uh, everything that expands to these borders. Is probably infinite, right? So 
So yeah, we should load. Okay, let's let's um, uh, let's just find my mean x. Uh, reduce mean and mod first. Okay, so minimal x is forty two. Uh, maximal x is. 353 and we can do the same for y All right so i guess we can use this somehow okay so uh let's say let's say we just calculate like take the, the rectangle of um, my mean x max x mean y max y and like uh let's let's write the function closest right so well let's find distance oh the, yeah distance uh, from one point to another right so x1 a1 x2 y2 and basically it's the sum of uh, mass abs of minus x2 x1 and mass is minus one two y1 so let me call it distance for Okay, uh, yeah. so this is how we can create Manhattan distance, right? So let's let's see, zero zero, twelve twelve should be twenty four. Yeah, it's twenty four. Yeah, yeah, it seems to to be working, and it works in both directions, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. So distance works. So basically. Let's let's just uh, build a rectangle. Let's just uh, do do what they did here, right? So build a rectangle and map it uh, with with the closest, I guess, closest points or something like that. Closest point. Um, Okay, so uh, I guess I will need a function which return closest one, closest to uh, to x1 a1 to xy, right? So basically, what we need to do is um, we need to well, first we need to map map this. Y to the parts, right? So this will give us like distance to each coordinate. Okay, let distances. This will be distances, right? Uh, to each coordinate from from our current one. Then we need to find the minimal one. Z. Okay, so uh, mean basically. Let me use my key here. Mean dist is reduce mean distances, right? Mm, then um, basically uh, indexes uh, will be. Basically, we need to take uh, range and distances vector, right, 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 and we need to filter um, first percent 
equals first percent. Okay, so it's not maybe very clear, but I'll explain in a sec. So basically, if uh, this is it, and now we we need to calculate uh, conditions. So uh, if mean distance is zero, then we return minus one because, well. Um, because um, the point itself doesn't count, I guess. If um, if count index is bigger than one, we return minus one as well. So this will be points with uh, equal equal distance to something. Otherwise, we just return indexes of first, uh, second, first. Something like that. So let's say, uh, let's say our input is actually like this, for the sake of experiment, right? So lines are like this, and let's cal cal calculate like this, this. And I'm just checking, right? So let's calculate like closest point to zero, zero. It should return zero, right? A. Okay, uh, one, zero, one, two, three, four, five. Five, so x is five. If you have minus, minus one, right? And if we increase here, it returns minus one. But if we increase one more, it will return four, like A, B, C, D, E, yeah. So it seems to work, it seems to work. Okay, that's good, that's good, okay, now, now what we have, um, okay. Okay, now let's build a rectangle and, and basically map everything in it, right? So basically rectangle is something like this. Mm, rectangle or, yeah, well, let's call it rectangle, right? <laughs> Uh, for x coordinate in range mine x max x, I actually need to uh, minus one this and plus two this, and same goes for y coordinate. So we slightly increase this uh, like uh, boundaries, right? Uh, by one. Well, actually. Do I even need to do this? Maybe not, maybe not. Maybe I don't even do, have to do this. Let's let's try it this way. Okay, so we're building it for exact like boundary. Um, and we're, yeah, we basically put closest x, y, and basically it will be like uh, coordinate first x y and then the closest is x y right so correct yeah so this is a coordinate one one the closest point is minus one because this is the point a then one two the closest point is zero so a basically right and so on and so on actually can um hmm. uh, if you want to convert like to uh, this we can use like dot here all right and here we can use like um, well a plus hmm. and you can click us to Mm -hmm. One, ninety seven. Oh, yes, for sure. Plus one, it need sorry. <laughs> okay, so this is what we will be doing, like, um. 
Okay, I will explore what the right. Oh, it's just a simple convenience, so we will have the same output. Right, so basically uh, now one one is dot, one two is a, one three is a, one four is dot, and so on. Okay, so now we have this rectangle, right? So what do we do? Um, uh, well, we actually can call, well, there's a frequencies function, right? What does it do? Let me return some map of from distinct items and call to the number of times they appear. Right, so basically if we uh, map second right, Act. We will get that A appears six times, B appears eight times. Um, okay, so now, now for boundaries, right? So we need to exclude boundaries. So we need to go over like this, 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 and this, and we need basically to exclude exclude those, right? So um, we have boundaries. Boundaries. So basically, the way we do that is um, uh, give me a sec. So basically, the way to do this is. So if we iterate over react, so either x is minus x. Oh well, well actually, we can actually do it like that. Filter, and here let me take this. So this will be or. So it's either min x max x right max s x uh, min y or max y. Okay, so this will be boundaries, and basically what we need to do is uh, like map second. And set. Boundaries. So A, B, C, and F are infinite and dot as well. Okay, so basically uh, these are boundaries. So uh, let's take uh, frequencies. And then we need to like rect map second frequencies right so then we need to like apply the soak um so this is a map right so uh, let me define freaks as this okay so basically Apply the sock freaks uh, boundaries, right? Uh, like that, like that. And now we need to find like max um, maximal uh, value. So basically, the way to do this is to reduce. Well, um, zero. We start with zero. Or minus one, even we also start with this, and uh, function will be accumulator and a pair of like letter and freak, right? So basically, if freak is bigger than letter, uh, then 
the way from somewhere. We need to start it like this. Like this, right? So if frequency is, is bigger than accelerator freak, freak there's probably function in core to do that, but I don't know it. Max, max, max by something like that. Max key, return x for key. Yes, yeah, sorry. Uh, so probably it's just max key second. And we need to take first, All right? So uh, if we now if we reevaluate everything with real input, uh, with depths so or rectangles, boundaries, oh, boundaries. Right. Hmm. Why, why didn't it evaluate the boundaries? Something it, it's stuck on boundaries for some reason. It's, it's interesting. It's interesting. Is it possible that it's. Oh. Huh. Why is it stuck on boundaries? It's really strange. Uh, let me kill my repel and to try to do it again. Uh, this time, well, obviously there is some, um, I don't know yet what it is, but probably maybe um, something like okay, so rect. Is it even like okay, it can't probably can't print it, but it can count it, right? Okay, so it, it's actually stuck for uh, calculating this rectangle. Okay. Uh, because we, we use the lazy sequence. Uh, and, uh, uh, Okay, it's it's actually really strange because like how many uh, Okay, so it's it's here. Okay, let's see if I can uh, go to Apple. And actually, this is timer. If I can, why is it taking so much time? Okay, so I want to know the value of from 42. So it's basically 300. Uh, by 300, right? So basically 90,000. Okay, so calculating rectangle is is a bad idea, uh, apparently. Okay, so we need another plan. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe closest is uh, it takes too much time. Hmm. No, 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 rect can calculate it. Okay, so it's possible to get it. Let's not try to print it, but let's count. Yeah, it's, it's finished. Okay, okay, so it just required a bit of tensions. Okay, these are boundaries, these are spaces, and all. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, my idea of, of doing this index letter uh, actually failed so I'm going to return y instead okay um, yeah. and I have to recalculate <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
um, okay, let's wait. Let's wait a little bit. And meanwhile, we will uh, think if something could be done about this. So, so basically, maybe there is like more efficient way uh, to to go about this task, right? There, there probably is, but because I am like writing code all the time and explaining, it gives me little time to really, really think. So um, for each point, we need to calculate like, well, it seems like, okay, so it can be open calculated and boundaries and now boundaries are like that. I still return dot, which is fine. Frequencies are like that. And the answer is eight. Let's see. Let's see. It's not the right answer. What is that? It's the largest area that isn't infinite. So, oh, sorry. The area is the second one, right? Three, six, four, six. Three, six, four, six. Uh, I have 41 seconds to left. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, so the first number is is uh, index. Frequencies. The first one is indexes. Index and the second one is is area. Still have 15 seconds to to go and five seconds, four, three, two, one, let's start. That's not the right answer, okay. Okay, it's still not the right answer. Oh, sorry, uh, e, e is close to 17, so three, six, four, maybe I should count the area of the letter itself. So if distance is zero, we should return the same letter, right? So like that. And then it would produce the right answer, but while we wait, so let, it, it'll be um, basically one more. Three, six, four, seven, three, six, four, seven. Right, let's try this when I can because probably, um, and meanwhile, uh, let me just recalculate everything for it tangle here. Two, one, that's the right answer, yeah. Okay, perfect, so I didn't calculate the, 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 the space for solid itself. Okay, this is fine. Okay, let's read, oh, sorry, let's let's check on, on time, how, how do I do on time. So it's 27 minutes, around 30 minutes, which is, I guess it's terrible. I, I, I'm all sure it's terrible. Okay, so part two, on the other hand, if coordinates are safe, maybe the best we can do is to try to find a region near as many coordinates as possible. For example, suppose you want to sum the Manhattan distance uh, to all of the coordinates to be less than 52. Coordinates location and up the distances to all of the given coordinates. If the total of those distances is less than 52, the location within the desired region. region. So using the same coordinates as above to a region looks like this. Um, okay, if in particular consider the correct location for three, located as the, at the top middle of the region. It is calculated as, as, as follows by areas of the calculator function. Distance to coordinate A, 5, to B, 6, and so on. So because it's totally less than 32, the location is within the region. The region which also includes part B and E has a total size of 16. Okay, the actual region will need to be much larger than two examples, though, instead of including co-location with total distance of less than 10,000, which is the size of the region containing all locations which have total distance to all given coordinates of less than 10,000. So uh, this is a little bit different. I'm gonna have if the coordinates are safe. It looks a bit funny. If the coordinates are safe, what does it mean? Coordinates are safe. Okay, let's. Um, 
So the difference of this task and that task. So the difference is hundred. Yeah, uh, that we probably can't. Okay, let's just try to solve it. So it's not clear what the boundaries will be, right? So they might go outside of the, this bounding box, basically. Okay, let's try to just um, do the simple thing here. And let's try rectangle tip kind of operated. Uh, no, uh, I guess I didn't re-evaluate it, so yeah, I should have done this instead. Okay, okay, so uh, let's say we want to do the same, but instead of closest, we will do like distances. We need to sum distances to to everything, right? Um, yeah, yeah. Um, reduce basically some um, co-orgs, right? And here we will have distance from coordinate to x1, basically. So this will be coordinate sum of the uh, follow track two. Okay, and it will probably take as, as long as uh, the first one because of slots to calculate. Oh, is my function set slow? Is it really that slow? Lists. Distances. I guess I can go on without like reducing the sequence here, but whatever. Um, um, yeah, well, if actually, let's see how long it takes here. Almost a millisecond, right? So the timer is forty six milliseconds, for example, here, right? Uh, now, um I don't need the closest, I need distance. I, I don't use closest in the second one, so yeah, fuck that. Okay, um, pass to blah, blah, blah. Um, reduce. What's wrong here? Pirate exception for what? Dist, right? Dist is function of two arguments, yes. Two points, one point, the other point, the point, and some of the distances. So this seems to be fine. Something is wrong here, and we can't really see that. Okay, let's say. Okay, something is wrong in reduce. Uh, reduce. The, oh yeah, because reduce takes like a function of two arguments. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Um, yeah, <laughs> I need this instead. I need, to, I need to do this instead. Yeah. So it also takes some time. 
basically because it needs to call, calculate distances to all coordinates and stuff like that. And if I just filter here for 10,000, it will be probably it's the wrong answer. It will be. But let me okay. Let's wait. Let's wait while it calculates. What the size of the region containing the location in each graph is more than less than okay. Okay. Filter up to so we don't care about the first argument. We care about the second one. Uh, it should be less than ten thousand. Forty-one thousand six o five. Forty-one thousand six o five. Oh, that's the right answer. Okay, <laughs> that was simple. Um, okay, so thirty-five. Now we will get lucky there because, like, um, the area didn't expand outside the bounding box, so we can like uh, do this bounded iteration here, and that's why we get lucky. Okay, so. Yeah, what can we do? What can we do? So basically, I don't think it's possible to like improve this um, coordinate stuff, like distance stuff. I do think that maybe, just maybe, we can improve. We can improve closest, right? So. Like this thing takes uh, forty one second, for example. So the way to improve it, we basically loop over all coordinates and okay, let's 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 So this is direct. Uh, this is boundaries. <laughs> and uh, uh, what about boundaries? This is frequencies. And this is basically first line. Let direct time direct, right? Um, well, basically, boundaries direct and freaks, freaks react. Um, Safe. So this is safe. Yeah, let's call them safe. And basically, what we want to do here: save like save. We apply the max max key second. No, we can use it for the second. Oh, if we only take second, so we need the area, right? So we just can map second. Um, reduce max. I guess. I guess it's that's the way to go. Let me move part one up here. Okay, so this should be what part one is about. So basically, this current closes, current direct boundaries and freaks. And part one, let uh, let's see how long. Does it take right? While it is executing, we will try to like rewrite the closest function to to something else. Okay, let's call it closest to x y. Basically, it's a reduce. Well, reduce over. 
Power cord, that's basically what it was. So power cords. No, it's not really useful about our cords. On X, right? So basically, um, default value is this. Um, calculated. So it took 37 seconds. All right, so I tried to, to use this faster a little bit. Let me let me just think what, what do we need? We need the calculator, so basically you'll need the closest closest and here we will get cord and spinx, right? Um let the D be distance from cord x, y. If uh, D is smaller than the closest, then we return D, okay? Uh, our closest, we need to return E, x, right? So, D E looks like that, and start with uh, one plus one E and E X so here. Okay, if it's closer, we return D and E X. Otherwise, we we keep them the same. Right. Uh, the only difference here should be if we found. Yeah, completely this because no, this, this is stupid. No, uh, no, this wouldn't work. <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, so the solution worked. Uh, let me just uh, prettify it a little bit, like uh, turn the part two info into functions as well. That way, you will give the right answer. Let me see. So basically, this is return to two, and this is basically part two. Right? Um, like that, and what we do here, we take return to two, filter it. And we do crack. Oh, that's it. So part two is faster. No, it's not. That's time. No, that's it. Okay. Yeah, part two is way faster. Okay. Um. Oh, sorry. Did I? Did I actually? Okay, now we are talking. So yeah, because I use the cached value of uh, the map. Okay, okay, let's see. Now it should take about thirty seconds, I guess. But this is okay. Yeah, we probably should do more time from here and from here. Um, let me just commit this, import uh, by 6, this should probably resolve. Let's see how I did against other people in day 6, right? So basically, yeah, mm, well, it took like 26 seconds for the slowest in the and for me it took 35 minutes, all right, uh, if I remember correctly. All right, so the first part took 35 sec minutes and the, the first part took 27. All right, so it's it's way bigger than, uh, than top 100, but it's not as bad as the previous day. Okay, uh, I guess this is it. I'm committing the code and uh, let's wait for the next episode. Thank you. Bye-bye.